And we're, our mission is to help as many people as we can in this community reach full potential for health. And to do that, we educate. Because education gives us something to build on, to use, to think about. It's ammo. I've got good news, and I've got bad news. What do you want first? Good news or bad news? Bad news. The bad news is you were taught to have mediocre health, if that at best. The good news, you were born to have amazing health. And you can still reach that amazing health if you make shifts in lifestyle. What does the word doctor mean? Guesses? What does the word doctor mean? Healer. Healer. Any other guesses? The word doctor comes from a Latin source. Doctor. Doctor. Teacher. To teach. Teacher. The word doctor comes from Latin, and it's to teach. I'm curious if your medical doctor is teaching you anything. I'm curious if your med medical doctor is teaching you anything about how to achieve health. When we talk about medicine, I think about it as the study of disease and that which causes a man to die. When I think about what we do, I think about health and that which causes a man to live. And it requires certain steps in life to move that way. Teachers, oh my, I can't see that my screen. Teachers open the door, but you must enter by yourself. So we can give you information. How many times have you been to something like this or to a different <coughs> seminar or a class and you've been given all kinds of information and maybe you wrote some stuff down but you never incorporated it and moved forward with it. Lots of times. I have. I'm guilty of it too. I can give you all this information. That's why I'm hoping to bring it about in a compelling way, in an understandable way, so you'll start to make some shifts in your lifestyle. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishments. It's tough sometimes to make change. It takes discipline. It takes a decision to decide you cut off from. You cut off from your old ways and you implement new ways. Failure leaves clues and success leaves clues. Do you agree with that? Failure leaves clues and success leaves clues. If I want to be rich, do I study poor people or do I study rich people? If I want to have amazing health, do I study sick, pe sick people or do I study people that have amazing health? You better study the people that have amazing health. So you can learn what to do. Got discipline. So discipline, it takes certain steps to achieve health. Okay, so tonight we're talking about inflammation nation. What does cellular low-grade inflammation look like? All right, I gotta start here. I wish I didn't avoid this my work. Hopefully it stays there without falling. Okay. I'm going to call this my common sense corner. Is your body smart or stupid? Smart. Smart. Do you agree, me, agree with me when I tell you that everything your body does, it does for a reason? Does that make sense? Everything for a reason. Does it make sense when I tell you that the body is either, either trying to survive or it's thriving? So whatever choices you make every day, your body's got to take what you've done to it and it's going to allow it to thrive, be stronger, or is creating it to put it in a survival mode. It has to survive what you've done. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? <clears throat> survive and, sorry about the uh, handwriting. Thrive. Last thing in my common sense corner. Who makes your decisions? We do. You do. Decisions. You do. 
Okay, that's common sense corner. We'll come back to that. Well, let's leave that there for a second. Okay, so there's two types of inflammation. The first one I think you understand. Acute and painful inflammation. That's too much weight. How about uh, you guys grab me that tape because I want this up here. I don't know if this thing's gonna like uh, some sort of packaging tape or something so I can wrap it around that leg. Good catch. I'm glad you can knock you up. That would have caused acute inflammation. <laughs> acute painful inflammation. I think I'm gonna be okay if work on that next. Thank you. Acute painful inflammation. If you're playing soccer and uh, you rolled your ankle, is it going to swell? If you sprained your ankle, real bad sprain, does it swell? Yes. Smart or stupid? Smart. Smart. Do you know why it swells? To protect, bring elements within the blood to heal, to splint it, so your body says, I'm hurt right now, I need a break. So it swells because it actually makes the joint tight, so you don't use the joint. It swells because it brings elements within the blood to eat up the wasted damage, and it brings elements within the blood to lay down new tissue. It's healing. Agree? Smart. Happens for a reason. The thing that people don't understand is this insidious, painful, silent inflammation. It happens deep at the cellular level. Chronic inflammation attacks tissues on the cellular level. What does this chronic, low-grade, silent, acute inflammation look like? Heart disease, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, strokes, mood disorders, depression, anxiety, brain degeneration, senility, obesity, diabetes, cancer, we're going to come back to that list, joint pain, swelling, Arthritis, allergies, asthma, eczema, acne, poor recovery, poor healing, and immune response. Sound familiar? Sound like a lot of Americans? <laughs> Omega-3 fatty acids and cell membranes. Um, essential fatty acids. You ever heard of essential fatty acids? When you think about cells, do you think about something like this, a cell, a round cell, it's got stuff inside of it, and it makes up your body? If it just lives in the eyeball, it's an eyeball cell, and if it lives in the liver, it's a liver cell, and if it lives in the stomach, it's a stomach cell? It's more complex than that, obviously. When I think about cells, I think about something different. I think about something like this. What I think about with these cells is it has this, this little game that's got all those parts and pieces and these little holes and windows and doors that each one can fit into. Our cells are like this. We are cells. A hundred trillion cells in our body. Every one of those cells is controlled by the nervous system. We talked about that on my week, week one on it's as simple as that. All tissues are cells. So all of our tissues are made up of cells, but they're made up of very specific cells to make those tissues. Easy, right? Got that? All cells are made of fat. Omega-3 fatty acids and cholesterol makes your cell membranes. That's what this picture over here is, and you got an inside and outside of a cell. And what makes your cell membrane is cholesterol and omega-3 fatty acids. When that is a correct ratio, it sets up this amazing window and door cell. It has receptors on the outside of the cell that accepts different proteins and they have to be very specific to allow him to come through the cell. Omega-3 fatty acids, very, very important. Let's nutrients in and it lets, lets waste out. Healthy cell. Omega-3s promote cell membrane fluidity and makes them pliable and movable and fluid. Omega-6 fatty acids make cell membranes very rigid, non-permeable. Can't get stuff in 
can't get stuff out. How healthy do you think your cells are if it can't get nutrients in and can't get nutrients out? Sick. They can't communicate with other cells. Do you know what you call a cell that can't communicate with other cells, can't get nutrients in, and can't get nutrients out? Do you know what we call those cells? Toxins. Cancer. Omega-6 fatty acids. <laughs> What causes silent inflammation? What we need to understand is these essential fatty acids some more. They're called essential because you need them. Your body does not make them. You need to get them through the nutrients in your diet. The nutrients in your diet supply these essential fatty acids. What do you think our ancestor, the hunter and gatherer, ate? 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 years ago, when our genetic requirements were being designed, his diet was very specific. It was forming his gut. It was nutrients that were what his cells expected and required to be healthy. Do you think our diet today is much like the hunter and gatherer's diet? This ratio is very, very critical. Omega-6 fatty acids to omega-3 fatty acids. If there's an imbalance, we're in trouble. All right, so we covered cell physiology. You guys got that? Cell? Cell? 101. Done. Check it off your list. Cell physiology, you're done. Biochemistry. Omega-6 fatty acids. Omega-6 fatty acids are called linoleic acids. Okay? Omega-6 fatty acids. They convert into di, homo, gamma, linolenic acids. Everybody got that? Did I spell it right? <laughs> that converts into delta-5 desaturase, which converts into arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid, which converts into prostaglandin E2. Remember these, we're going to get there in a second. This one here, he converts into prostaglandin E1. This one is bad. This one is good. This one creates inflammation, fibrosis, autoimmune disorders. It creates allergies and asthma and things like this. This one, prostaglandin E2, he works on smooth muscles. Any ideas where we find smooth muscles in the body? Blood vessels. Respiratory system. The uterus. Things like this. It's important. It helps keep those things healthy. This down here is bad. Inflammation. Fibrosis. Let's go here. Omega-3 fatty acids converts into alpha linolenic acid, which converts into icosa pentanoic acid, which converts into dacosa hexanoic acid. You guys got it? <laughs> right. Don't steal my thunder. All right, that's right. We got it. Okay. So, what does this mean? It means a lot. And I want to try to make this as simple as possible, so hang with me. Don't worry about the names. Let's just look at this stuff. Inflammation. Bad. Where does omega-6 fatty acids come from? Guesses? Things like corn, soy, corn sugar, high fructose corn syrup, grains, grain-fed meat, industrialized cattle. Industrialized chickens, caged chicken eggs. We'll go with that. Okay? What happens right here? Have you ever heard of these? COX-1, COX-2, and COX-3 inhibitors? Mm -hmm. Ever COX-1, COX-2, COX-3? They got a lot to do with inflammation. You know what COX-1, COX-2, and COX-3 inhibitors are? Aspirin, <coughs> Celebrex, Vioxx. Have you heard of those drugs? <coughs> 
they stop this conversion from delta-5 desaturase into arachidonic acid. But they also create side effects in your body. Do you understand that? The drugs create side effects? Do you know that they took Celebrex off the market at one time because it was creating more myocardial <coughs> infarcts and strokes? Heart attacks and strokes? Do you know that it's back on the market? Do you understand why? Because the stockholders threw a fit when they took it off the market because they were making so much damn money. So they put it back on the market and they said, oh, we'll just better, we'll better uh, watch it. We'll watch it better and make sure that they're not taking as much of it because it's okay. You understand this is treating the effects? And something like this would be treating the cause? With me? Omega-3 fatty acids into alpha linic linic acid, into cosa pentanoic acid. Watch this. This one, EPA, this is the big one. He is super anti inflammatory. EPA. Omega-3 fatty acids into EPA is super anti-inflammatory. This one here, DHA, it does things like brain synapses. You think those are important? Yeah. How about dopamine? You ever heard of him? Mm -hmm. How about serotonin? You ever heard of serotonin? Mm -hmm. Super importante. <laughs> Where does this stuff come from? Wild caught fish, fish oils, grass fed meats, free ranged eggs, EPAs. EPA blocks or inhibits this reaction dihomo gamma linolenic acid into delta 5 desaturase. Does it make more sense to take these because I'm choosing this lifestyle <coughs> or to balance this ratio and do more of this and eliminate those so I don't have all this inflammation in my body? Silent inflammation. We want a ratio of omega-6s to omega-3s that looks like this. One to one or two to one. That was my man, the hunter and gatherer. That's the way his ratio was. The standard American diet, from what I read, says it's anywhere from 10 to 1 to 40 to 1. Super inflammatory at the cellular level. Common sense corner, do you understand that the body's smart and does everything it does for a reason? The standard American diet is creating this mess. One of the things that I'm working on, and I just about got it, is we're going to be able to run a blood test through this office with LabCorp that gives us a ratio of eradicadonic acid to EPA. It's an extremely health looking forward test. Before you show up with heart disease and high cholesterol, we're going to be able to see, because this ratio needs to be 1.5 to 1 to be optimal. And with a blood test we can see, okay, where are you at? How much arachidonic acid do you have compared to EPA? If we can get it to this ratio instead of a monster ratio like this one gets up to something like 80 to 1, that tells me that you're incredibly inflamed. So it's an upstream test to show us where you're at right now. So then we can make these changes. I just about got this thing locked up so we can do this. The, the lab corp was having struggles having me do this test and sending this stuff out because it has to go to a different lab. And there's hospitals and uh, clinics in town fight with me on letting them draw blood just when a person shows up with their box and they say, Dr. Hassel told me to bring this box, draw my blood please, and then this gets, stuff gets fed at. They don't want us to go in their lab and do stuff like this. But I think I got it taken care of. Biochemistry. Got it? Cell physiology. Got it? All right. How does... <laughs> Out of balance ratio manifest. Hormonal storm. Unwanted fat and obesity is how it manifests itself. 68% of Americans are overweight. Hormonal storm. When we have this out of balance ratio and this inflammatory condition, it creates a hormonal imbalance in our body that causes our body to store fat. And when it stores fat, it throws things way off and we call it a metabolic derangement. 
things aren't balanced and healthy within our body. You could go to a place over here across the street that they opened up that's called Hormone Something Something. I don't even know for sure what it's called. Are they treating the cause or the effect? Because what caused it? Do they talk to those people about lifestyle and treat them, teach them about lifestyle? Or do they just say, we've got this amazing new product, and it's these little tiny things, and we implant them just underneath the dermis, and you go away, and it's amazing. <coughs> You feel better, you want to have sex, things are good, you're not treating the cause. An out of balance ratio of omega 6 to omega 3s creates a pro inflammatory state in your body that causes the body to burn up. So the body stores fat as an insulator to protect itself. Is your body smart or stupid? Does everything your body do for a reason? Yes. Who decides what you do? We do. Yourself. It promotes all kinds of chronic disease. Do you understand that? <clears throat> we can summarize your health by the health of your nervous system and the health of your cells. Cardiovascular health. What's the good cholesterol? HDL. What's the bad cholesterol? LDL. Wrong. You're all wrong. Come on. You're all wrong. They're both good. They get out of ratio because your body is innately responding to protect yourself for survival. And neither of them are cholesterol. LDL, you know what that is? Low density. Lipoprotein. HDL is high density. High density lipoprotein. Do you know what they do? LDL takes cholesterol away from the liver to the body. HDL brings it back. What does cholesterol do? Cholesterol feeds your brain. Is your brain important? Is cholesterol important? Cholesterol makes your cell membranes. Repeat, been covered. Cholesterol important? Cholesterol works in the synthesis of vitamin D. Heard about vitamin D? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot recently. Mm -hmm. Cholesterol helps make bile salts. Do you know what bile salts do? Bile salts are made by your gall gallbladder and they emulsify your fats that you take in through your digestion. Do you think that's important to break your fats down? Guess what your fats are? Omega-3s, omega-6, and omega-9s. Is fat good for our body? Yes. It's essential. What if you had a, what if you're a 40-year-old female, fat, flatulent, what else they say? 40, flat, flatulent. Foxy. <laughs> a blank. That's good. What's the what's the third thing? That's why you have a team. Let's make it. I know. I'm sorry. I'm drawing a blank. Flexible. Flexible. <laughs> you guys are good. I'm sorry. I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, bile salts emulsify fats. They break them up into little tiny pieces. They break them up into little tiny pieces so then the small intestine can hook onto them with their little cilii and then it can hook on to uh, um, different elements to take it to your body. Female, that's where I was going with this, 40. I think the 40 is the third one. I think it's female. No, female, female, 40, fat, flesh. She has a gallbladder condition. So medically, they say, uh, you've got a gallbladder condition. And um, we're going to have to do surgery, and we're going to take that gallbladder out. Okay, I need that because I have lots of pain, and i got these problems. Why did they take the gallbladder out? Because it wasn't working correctly. My question is, how is it working now? <laughs> they took it out. How is it working now? Didn't it have a reason? Do you guys think God put in spare parts? <laughs> All of our parts are there for a reason. 
Cholesterol makes bile salts or helps in the production of bile salts. Cholesterol helps in the production of sex hormones. You like those? Are those important? You bet you they are for that flexible. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. You guys are good. Okay, so here's where I was going with the cholesterol thing. So cholesterol is good for us. LDLs, HDLs get out of ratio because what happens is when you have a uh, this diet that we're talking about, acidic, lots of grains, industrialized beef, uh, nicotine, it scars or scratches or cuts into the blood vessel. When it cuts and scratches the inside of the blood vessel, that's called a lumen, the, the inside of it. It starts to tear through that lumen and it gets into the smooth muscle of the vessel. Good or bad, do you think? Bad. Bad. Does the body go into survival mode? Because yes. that's because the body's smart. So what is it going to do to heal those scarring? It's going to take LDL and cook onto cholesterol because cholesterol is a fat. Blood's water. Fat and water, oil and water don't mix. So he hooks onto LDL because it makes him travel through the bloodstream. And LDL carries cholesterol to the blood vessel to pack down a scar and heal it. They tested my blood and they said I got high cholesterol and my LDLs are way too high. Really? Guess why? Because your diet looks like this and it's creating the scarring and plaquing. So then that continues, that diet, it continues to build up. Does it harden, harden an artery? Does it occlude an artery? Does it cause plaques, clacks, and strokes? So, the MD, who's your teacher, Dr. Main's teacher, writes you a prescription for a statin drug. Smart or stupid? Stupid. But how many people take them? Millions. How much money do they make? Millions. Millions. You know what I think about a prescription slip? I think about it as a permission slip. He's just permitted you to continue to the same crap lifestyle that you've been leading, and you, it's, it's killing you. Agreed? Following my story? Mm -hmm. It's a permission slip. It works. It lowers, it can, it can lower your cholesterol, right? It works. Mm -hmm. But he's asking the wrong questions. Mm -hmm. If you want better health, you have to ask better questions. His question is, how do I lower this cholesterol? He writes you a prescription. We'll check in three months. Your numbers went down. Drugs good. Numbers went down. It's a permission slip, you guys. You can't continue to live the same lifestyle you live and expect different results. That's the definition of insanity, right? To do the same thing you're doing over and over again and expect a different result. That's insanity. Blood pressure medication. If he gave you a blood pressure med medication, do they work? Well, of course they work. That's why they make bajillions of dollars. Your blood pressure comes down. Why is your blood pressure up in the first place? Nerve pressure? Upper cervical nerve pressure, possibly? Yes. That causes constriction of a blood vessel that increases your pressure? Your standard American diet that includes a vessel that increases your blood pressure? Plaques clots. In 2008, over 616,000 people died of heart disease. Heart disease causes almost 25% of deaths. Almost one in every four. Now, one in, in, now one in 2.8. That's not very good. All right, so <clears throat> how else does it manifest, present itself? Joint pain, shoulders hurt, knees hurt. Who's complaining of that stuff in here? <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Chronic, low-grade, acute cellular inflammation, swelling, arthritis, DJD, degenerative joint disease. Omega-3 fatty acids help neurotransmitters and neural synapses and brain synapses. Remember? How important that is to is that to an elite athlete? <coughs> How about somebody doing round back round off back step out back layout on a four inch beam that's thirty feet long? What do you think I did with Sean when I was taking care of her before the Olympics as far as her nutrition? Do you think I incorporated EPAs? Absolutely. It's critical. 
critical. Brain health. Omega-3 fatty acids. If our ratio is right, brain health. <coughs> what you, you guys want to be on top of your game? Be alert, be able to function? Omega-3 fatty acids, brain symptoms. How about pediatric <coughs> development? Do you think it's important for that mom to have a correct balance of ratio as babies developing inside of her with the DHEA that creates brain synapses? And synapses, you know what I read? Um, in the last trimester, 250,000 brain synapses being developed every minute, every 60 seconds. 250,000 brain synapses every 60 seconds the whole third trimester. That brain's going bang. What if mom's deficient in DHA? Do you think that's going to affect that? and toxic in omega-6 fatty acids. Breastfeeding, same deal. <coughs> uh, I had to get the back to work. I couldn't <coughs> breastfeed anymore. I did it for two months. I did it for six weeks. I'm good. Now I got her on this uh, laboratory-produced formula, and they, they went ahead and put some DHA in there, so she's covered. Really? Really? Uh, but I just wasn't producing very much, you know? Well, how, why weren't you producing very much? How was your diet? Was it full of good fats? So in the 80s and 90s, when they told everybody, because of cardiovascular disease, a couple slides back, what did they tell them to go on? Low-fat diet. It's good fats, you guys, and you need abundance of them. Our hunter and gatherer, when we studied the centurions in the blue zones, that's the people that, that are large amount of people in a small amount of area are living to 100 plus. The Inuits and the... Um, um, Australia, the Aborigines, and up in Greenland, Gr let's take Greenland, Iceland, what do their diets consist of? Blubber for breakfast, blubber for lunch, blubber for dinner, and whatever, maybe some meat for dessert. That's where the fat-soluble vitamins hang out. A, D, E, and K, they're in the fat. So when they're talking about lean meats, at the store, your medical doctor, you know, hey, your numbers are right, you know, let me talk to you about your diet real quick, because I'm going to give you these statins and high blood pressure medication, so let's, let's, get, let's get those going, because that's critical, we've got to do that, and let's talk about your diet real quick, let's go lean meats, they come from, did he tell you anything about grass-fed meats at, at, at that meeting, or did he tell you about lean, lean meats, chicken, fish, you know, catfish, no, not that, I mean, the, the fish out of the stream, though, is still good. What I'm telling you, though, is cold water, wild-caught fish is better. When you squeeze a fish, what do you get out of it? Triglycerides. EPA. When you squeeze a grain, what do you get out of it? Ethyl esters. It's, it, does, it doesn't uh, do the same thing, you guys. Alpha, let's go back here for a second. Alpha-linic linolenic acid. Where does this one come from? Flaxseed. Virgin olive oil. Avocado oil. Avocados. Walnuts. Walnut oil. That's good stuff, right? I know I got vegetarians in here, and I love you, but here's your problem. Only 25% of alpha linolenic acid converts to EPA. So if you are a true vegetarian, and you're getting all this amazing, it's good stuff, I promise you it's good stuff. Only 25% of it converts into EPA, you're missing out on this super anti-inflammatory and a lot of brain function. So my best recommendation is either introduce the wild-caught fish or the fish oil supplement. But my better recommendation is the wild-caught fish. Because the study that I read out of Sweden, when they studied the absorption of the EPA and DHA from either the fish or the supplement, the real deal comes from the real deal. Okay? It's better absorbed in the body. The body takes it and uses it better out of the wild-caught fish than it does out of the supplement. But the supplement's also important. It can help. Moods. Hmm. Who's got a problem with moods? Anybody? Raise your hand. I'm chasing you. You have to raise your hand. How about if I state it this way? Who in your house might have some, <laughs> moods, with some moods? Mood swings. Depression, anxiety. The study I read yesterday said 1 in 20 Americans now are supposedly medically when they say they're depressed. Or at least that's what the people say. 1 in 20. Depressed. Do you think they're omega-6 toxic and omega-3 deficient? Yeah. My guess is yes. Senility. Alzheimer's. All right. 
bring it full circle. What causes silent inflammation? <coughs> you guys getting this? Omega-6 fatty acids, omega-3 fatty acids. Are omega-6 fatty acids good for us though? Yes. Are omega-3 fatty acids good for us? Yes. Are omega-9 fatty acids good for us? Yes. But as the ratio is imbalanced, we are toxic and sick. Understood? The body's smart, not stupid. Omega-6 fatty acids is an essential fatty acid. It comes from things like grains, soy, corn, grain-fed industrialized meats, vegetable oils, hydrogenated oils. How do they make hydrogenated oils? They take a vegetable oil and they heat it up to 500 to 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit and they put it under a tremendous amount of atmospheric pressures and they introduce a metal like nickel or um, platinum or aluminum. That's what creates hydrogenated oils. So that hydrogenated oil with the metal in it, when that passes through the arteries, do you think that metal can scratch and tear the interior arterial wall? Yes. That's how that causes heart disease, high blood pressure, the buildup of cholesterol and high number of LDLs because there's lots of those trucks that are carrying the cholesterol to the healing center of the vessel. <coughs> Corn oil, cottonseed oil, sunflower, safflower oils, canola oil. What's omega-3s? He is an essential fatty acid. Comes from cold water fish, wild caught, not farm raised. I'm going to go with that and I'm going to stick with that. I've had you know people tell me, oh, the farm raised, the ponds are just amazing. I've been to the places and they got aeration and they've got cleaners and they've got all this stuff. I'm going to stick with the cold water wild caught for right now. Maybe my opinion will change later. On all this stuff that I'm teaching you guys with this stuff, or I'm, trying, I'm just I'm sharing with you, if my opinion changes in a year from now, don't get pissed off at me. I'm just trying to, myself, educate myself so I can share with you what I use for me and my family with my best knowledge at today, March 20th. Next year it might be different. Hold on. Avocado, walnut, coconut oil is awesome. Yummy too. Olive oil, nuts and seeds. What can you do to fix it? If someone's going down the wrong road, he doesn't need motivation to speed him up. What he needs is education to turn him around. I find it fascinating that most people plan their vacations with better care than they plan their health. Perhaps that is because the escape is easier than the change. Who decides your lifestyle? Should you change your lifestyle or treat your lifestyle? Change your lifestyle, thank you. How about if your neighbor comes to you and says, oh my gosh, I got this fantastic product. It's called Monavi. This stuff is awesome. I've been to the seminar down in Orlando last weekend, and I'm so fired up to come back and sell this stuff because it's awesome. It's a, it's a acai berry, and it's got all kinds of other berries and juices in it, and it's a super antioxidant, and it just makes you feel awesome, and I get lots of energy, and it's good for me. Is it good for you? Yes. Is it treating the effects or the cause? The effects. the effects. Why do you have oxidative stress in your body? What you put into it. Why do you have free radical damage in your body? What you put into it. Oxidative stress or free radical damage is when a cell loses an electron. He loses an electron because his cell membrane became toxic, omega-6s. He stays healthy in fluidity and he has nutrients and waste coming in and going out when he's omega-3 rich and cholesterol rich and his balance is in balance. That is a healthy cell. Oxidative stress, free radical damage, negative charge, gone. Now he becomes a positive charge. This Monavi makes you fantastic, feel fantastic. Well, yeah, because it does good stuff. It's treating the effects. Do you think you'll lose weight if you made a shift in your diet and went to omega-3 rich and omega-6 less? Yes. Okay, my neighbor came to me and they said, oh, I got this new product. It's called Body by V or Vi or I don't know how they say it. And it's just awesome. You just incorporate these shakes and you take them twice a day and they're 90 calories and it's just awesome. It comes from a lab. Somebody made it and it's better than God's food. It's just amazing. You just take it and you lose weight and there's these before and after pictures. You do this 90-day challenge and it's just amazing. Do you think besides the two meals, their snacks that they supplemented the Body by V with, do you think they changed this? Do you think they changed their standard American diet? Doubt it. 
Or actually, no, you know what, I think they tell them, I haven't been to one of the meetings, so I'm just guessing from what some of the stuff they said. You do this, and then the other meals, you go lean and green. Okay, lean and green. What's the lean mean? What's the lean mean? Lean meats. No, not grass-fed, no, we taught them about that. You go lean and green. So they're still taking in lean. Industrialized, grain-fed cattle. I love the greens, that's fantastic. They're, they're making a shift. So, so some of these people are making a good shift because now they're getting phytonutrients and phytochemicals and phenols and all this wonderful stuff out of their greens that they weren't eating before. So that's good, that's really good. And the Body by V shake I'm not a fan of because the sweetener is called sucralose and sucralose is sugar that's stripped with chlorine. That's not good. Guess what that does to the inside of the vessel? Tears and rips it. And then they go lean with the industrialized corn-fed beef and that causes placking and blah, 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 blah. everything I've just been talking about. For sap, perhaps that is because it's easier to escape than it is to make change. You live and die by what you stock. What you have in your cupboards and your fridge, you live and die by, you guys. If you only have amazing stuff in there that's available when you're hungry, you have to go and choose between amazing and amazing. What are you going to choose? Amazing. <laughs> and if you have hydrogenated oil and processed foods and chips and crap and junk and things, what are you going to choose? Here's what you got to do. Reduce your fast white carbs. White breads, white pastas, white rice, white potatoes, white sugar. So then you can stop taking those white pills. Reduce your omega-6 vegetable oil intake and your hydrogenated oil intake. Increase grass-fed meats. You can get it at the store, you guys. It's not that hard. At Dolls and High V, they have the smart chicken and the naked chicken, which is free-range. Hold on. Um, free-range uh, meats. They have free-range eggs, cage-free eggs. You can buy them right there in your Dolls and High V. You can go to Trader Joe's and get the grass-fed meat. Whole Foods is coming. I'm excited. Wild fish and game. You can get it right there at Dolls and Hy-Vee. It says on the little sign that they stick in the ice. Farm raised, wild caught in whatever country. Pick that one, please. Free range eggs. You can eat the whole egg. Egg whites are amazing protein. Guess where the omega 3s hang out? In the yellow stuff. Increase colorful fruits, a variety, pick a variety of fruits and vegetables, everything. Veggies, polyphenols, phytonutrients, antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, it's good. You want those. Add supplementation. It's last in my list. Guess why it's last in my list? Because it's the last thing I want you to think about. You know, I was cutting my hair today and I said, yeah, big talk tonight, I'm fired up, I'm going to teach all these people about inflammation and what's happening in cellular inflammation. She goes, well, what happens with that? And I said, Max, your hormones out of whack, and you're fat and obese, and you have mood swings. And she goes, ooh, what do I have to do? <laughs> and I said, you got to come to the talk, because it takes me a little while to explain it. And she goes, so take fish. I mean, so it's, it's, I said, it's a big ratio thing between omega-6 and omega-3s. And she goes, oh, so take more fish oils? I said, no, you got to eliminate all the stuff that you're doing first with omega-6s. And she goes, well, what are those? And I said, breads and pastas and, and meats that are you know, industrialized. And she goes, all the good stuff? <laughs> Yeah, they want to eliminate all the good stuff. Did I tell you that I, I read a, a quote the other day that made me pause? It said, your perception changes when you have more past than you have future. I'm sure there's a lot of my friends and people that I hang out with that have more past than they have future. Not me. No way, are you kidding me? I'm not even close. And nor are a lot of you guys. But you have to make the right lifestyle decisions to have more future. Right? Supplementation. Fish oil supplement is important. What do you look for? Your supplement has to have more EPA than it has DHA. Okay? Your fish oil supplement should come from cold water fish. Your fish oil supplement should go through a molecular distillation. That means they pull the mercury and stuff out of it. They, they put the oil through a molecular distillation. Your fish oil 
should be done in a lab with a nitrogen environment. What that means is they fill the lab with nitrogen and the people that work in the lab wear oxygen so they can stay alive. But the oil doesn't get oxidized. Because if the oil gets oxidized, it's rancid. If it's rancid, it's no good for you. If you typically take fish oils and you burp up the fish afterwards, you're taking a rancid oil. The stuff you're getting at Costco, I can guarantee you, is not a quality fish oil. It's going to do you no good. Quality stuff can cost you a little bit more money. Omega-3+, plus, EPA, DHA, 660 milligrams of uh, EPA and 500 milligrams of DHA. Eat, melt, eat well, move well, think well. Life responds to deserve and not to need. It doesn't say if you need, you will reap. It says if you plant, you will reap. The guy says, I really need to reap. Then I say, you really need to plant. You've got to make your own decisions. You've got to choose the right food. You've got to wait because it takes time for your body to restore balance. I can't plant in the spring and harvest in the summer. Ever hurry up? Come on, give my harvest. I want it now. It takes time. And it takes time of doing things every day. You can't plant in the winter and harvest any time. I move some crops you can, in winter wheat, but other, I'm using this as an example. Don't eat corn and soy. I'm using that you have to, it, it takes time for your, body, for your body to accept this change and move forward. Success. Success is nothing more than a few simple disciplines practiced every day. While failure is simply a few errors in judgment repeated every day. It is the accumulative weight of our dis disciplines and our judgments that leads us to either amazing health or chronic disease. Agree? Is your body smart or stupid? Smart. Thank you. Is everything your body doing doing for a reason? Yes. yes. Is your body always trying to survive or taking what you're putting in it and thrive? Yes. Who makes your decisions? We do. Who decides if you eat amazing, real and from the earth food? We do. Who decides if I exercise or don't exercise? Who makes up in their head that I'm too busy, I don't have enough time in my day, and I just can't get to it, and I don't have time to exercise? Who's, who, who decides what that, that thought? Who's, who decides that thought process? We do. You do. Who decides if you get adjusted or not? You do. We do. Take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live. Let's do this together, you guys. Let's have amazing health. I do this for a reason. I'm not home with my girls tonight because I'm trying to help you live longer and live stronger. That's my talk. <laughs> now I'll take questions. With the, with the mentioned rains. You guys are, everybody's welcome to leave. You know, the talk's done, so I'll do questions. But if you want to stay, you can stay. If you want to leave, you can leave. Um, does the rains include... No. No. And no. No. And no. And no. 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 We're going to go with that. Yep. So in our house, we do do Ezekiel bread, so sprouted wheat. We do a boulder. We do quinoa. We do wild rice. We do brown rice. So that's not That actually converts different than corn and wheat and soy. And then, like, tempeh? Soy. Is that, is that... The soy we got to be careful with because it's it's endogenous and affects your hormones. It'll screw up your hormones. Or is it just the the genetically modified nope. GMO? Nope. Nope. I'm gonna go with all of it. So even like tempeh. Yeah. I'm gonna go with all. Or of it. in moderation, you know. So some of it you can do, but I'm gonna go with. I'm, I'm gonna avoid soy. I'm not drinking soy milk. I'm drinking coconut milk and almond, almond milk when I need to put it in my smoothies. I don't drink it like for a glass of it for pleasure. Right. I drink it and I put it in my smoothies. You didn't talk anything about, you know, like milk at all. Okay, so most of your milk comes from an, an industry. What if it's on the right side? If it's, it, raw milk. Well, raw milk or like a grass fed cow. Okay. This whole one milk. in the store, whole milk. Okay, got it. So this one in the store, though, organic, grass-fed, hormone-free, antibiotic-free, it's still homogenized and pasteurized. Mm -hmm. This is a process that cooks it to give it shelf life. It denaturizes the enzymes within it to allow your body to absorb the nutrients that are in it. Mm -hmm. Looks like milk. Tastes like milk. You get a little bit of something, something out of it. But why do you guys even want to drink milk in the first place? Hunter and gather. Did he drink milk? Mm -hmm. No. Do you think he could have caught the deer that was lactating and milked her? 
Tough. Tough. And he get his buddy on the horse and he was like, right next to him, trying to squeeze that milk out of her. Why do you want milk? Who taught you that? What do you get for milk? Do you ever, just real quick off your head, what do you get for milk? Calcium. Wrong. My kids be white. That's what they told you. It's an industry. Guess what the industry does? Makes money. Guess what they do? They make the cow lactate twice a year. By giving her what? Hormones. Why? To make more money off of one cow. Mel lactation is milk from a species for its infant for its early stages of development. How big is a cow? Big. <laughs> big. What's its protein? What's its protein in the milk? It's called casein. It's a very large building protein. Our body can't break it down. Some scientists in the stuff that I read says that we're getting larger as a species. Guess what they're blaming it on? Milk. Got milk? Drink your milk. It's good for your kids. It makes them healthy and strong. No, it doesn't. Guess what makes them healthy and strong? Resistance exercises, not sitting on their ass in front of the PlayStation, and this nutrition. And where does the, not, not this, more, more. Back to the phytonutrients, phytochemicals, phenols. Where does the cow get her calcium? Grass. Thank you. Where does a gorilla get gorilla, the strongest one in the world, get his calcium? Grass. Leaves and grass. Where does the elephant get his calcium? Leaves and grass. Why are we drinking milk? If we wanted to drink milk, studies show raw milk is better. Goat's milk would be better. How big is a goat? How big is a cow? What's the difference in the size of the protein? Big protein versus small protein. You tracking? <laughs> Isn't, isn't casein pretty prevalent in cancer patients, too? I mean... I don't remember the number from the can... It's called the China study? Yeah. Off the top of my head, it's somewhere between 60 and 75% <clears throat> of all cancer patients are toxic in casein. Mm hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Casein. Guess how much milk is in our refrigerator at our house? Zero. Zero. Mm -hmm. We do have raw milk cheese. We do have goat cheese. That we get at Trader Joe's. <laughs> occasionally they'll we, yogurt, occasionally like Greek yogurt, but not not very often at all. You know, occasionally for a smoothie, but I don't even like it in a smoothie. You know, in, in the morning at our uh, counter, I get the Vitamix out and I throw in there whatever I want to throw in there. Usually, like this morning, just for example, banana. Oh, I got one more thing to show you guys. Did anybody leave? Okay, <laughs> let me finish this first and I got one more thing to show you. <laughs> banana. Pineapple, organic blueberries, and spinach, and uh, whey protein from a grass-fed, antibiotic, hormone-free cow that's been cold-pressed, not heat-pasteurized, keeps the enzymes intact so my body can absorb it. Do you understand when I say there's a difference between dead food and real food? Exhibit A. <laughs> Dead food. Okay, this is an experiment that I want to try. I haven't looked in this box yet. Uh, right, it's happy. Guess what it says right here? I read this. I haven't, I haven't opened it yet. Um, unleash more energy to play. Oh, okay. And there's a picture of uh, apples and fries and milk and chicken nuggets. <laughs> unleash the energy to play. I bought this February 21st on my way home from my last talk. Gross. <laughs> Can't wait to see what's inside. <laughs> Dead food. Does this look like it just came from the store? Yeah. February 21st, it's four weeks old. Hydrogenated oil, remember? Is one molecule away from plastic. What? Do people feed this to their kids? Yes. What is the largest restaurant in the world? McDonald's. How many stores? Thirty-two thousand. Okay, that was that. Let's see what this looks like. Don't worry, I'm going anywhere. Four weeks ago. Oh my goodness. Four weeks ago. Open it up. Open it. Good job. It's like Christmas. Uh, 
Does it look like it came from there today? Did you have it refrigerated? It was in my garage. Because I didn't want to smell that stuff. Yeah. I had to bring it in the truck. <clears throat> so the four weeks ago when I went home from my talk, <laughs> and I was thinking about this next talk, and I had to think about going through McDonald's drive through in my truck. <laughs> that I, had to I was thinking glasses, and I can't. <laughs> oh my God, if somebody I'm sees me rolling, I just did an awesome talk on health and wellness, and there's Hassel going through the uh, drive through at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> dead, dead food, agree? Yes. No enzymes. Guess what enzymes do? Break the food down. When the lion kills the alligator, does he drag it off and let it sit for about three days before he tears into it? Why? What's going on? The enzymes are breaking down the meat to make it easier to digestible on his gut. Okay? This, this is fun, is an organic banana that I bought three days later at Dolls. Why did I buy it three days later? Because I figured, okay, if they bought it, if they, somebody pulled a bunch of organic bananas off the tree, how long does it take for it to get from there to actually go to Trader Joe's? How long does it take for it to get from the sh ship to Trader Joe's? I'm thinking three days, maybe four. So let's say this got created the same day. Not created, but robbed from its life source. This is three and a half weeks old. Why is it all shriveled up and small? The enzymes are breaking it down. Why is it all moldy? Because it's real food. Is this real food? Is this the largest restaurant in the world? Who's eating it? One molecule away from plastic. Very omega-6 toxic. How many, if you go, if we went into one right now, where? Wherever the closest one is on 50th and University, are kids eating it? Are adults eating it? Is it a happy place or they, they like going, hey, let's go to McDonald's? Does it piss you off like it pisses me off? <laughs> Man. And I love the fact, and I heard it just again last night, I was driving uh, my daughter and two friends. We went and got dinner. At Nick's, I had salmon, blackened, it was yummy. And we were driving home down 100th, and we passed a Wendy's. And one of my daughter's friends said, oh my gosh, I love Wendy's. And Sierra said, I don't think I've ever been to a Wendy's. Aww. I said, yeah, baby. <laughs> right on. <laughs> so what I'm trying to teach you and educate you is different than the masses, agree? Maybe they look at me as a cult or something or whatever. What's Hassel preaching? You might go home and start ripping stuff out of the cupboards and trash bags. And you're like, why do you keep going to his talks? You're getting rid of all of our stuff. You know, we bought this food and you're ripping it out because you live and die by what you stock, right? You need to get rid of the stuff that's causing you to be sick. And you need to stock the stuff that's going to cause you to have amazing health. What else? Yeah. For the omega threes, now they're coming yeah. out with the krill oil. Yes, krill oil. Let's see, buddy. Yep. Krill oil. Yep. It's good. It's good. My mind is so. Full. And um, <laughs> it, it's it's a small little guy. You know, it's kind of like a shrimp. It's krill oil, and it comes. He's lower on the food chain, and he's not as toxic in the stuff, and it's good. But I'm also going with cold water, molecular distilled nitrogen blanket fish oils as well. But krill oil is good. Yep. Well, I've also heard, as far as, um, you know, Dr. Amen has been on a festival about the brain. Okay. And, you know, he does brain scans. And he said he takes like one to three grams of omegas. I take three. Three? Yep. If you were in incredible recovery mode, when you're training 26 hours a week for something like a gymnast, okay? Four hours a day, Monday through Friday, and six hours on Saturday, four to five grams a day. We want it all there and available. And, and I get, you get that little, ooh, wow, that's a lot. But what if I told you that you had to eat blubber for breakfast, blubber for lunch, blubber for dinner? That's what it is. It's there for healing and recovery. When I broke my leg there a couple years ago and I was doing omega-6s, I was doing five to six grams a day, along with other kind of supplementation because I wanted it to be um, amazing. Recovery. 
Omega sixes or omega threes? threes. Okay. Whoops. Omega threes. <laughs> <laughs> omega threes. What? Uh, right now they're recommending chocolate milk as a recovery drink, and I can I use the word bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you? So right. So I go to it? the gym after I pick up my daughter from gym, and there's moms sitting there waiting with the chocolate milk drink for their daughters who come out of gym. Guess who did the study that said that that was good? Oh. Yes, but very what, good. What do you recommend? For Water. Just hang on. What did the hunter and gatherer drink? Water. What else? Water. What else? Water. Thank you. <laughs> what about the boost and ensure? It's junk. Is that? It's sugar and it's junk. What about a smoothie made with fruit and uh, dark chocolate or something, or if you wanted to do that, or, or the coconut milk, which does have sugar in it. You can get the answer. Yeah. No, that stuff's junk. There's, it's not alive. There's no enzymes. It's a, it's a meal replacement. Let's stop replacing meals. So let's go on five to six meals a day. You with me? Eatings. Five to six eatings a day. Breakfast, mid-morning snack, lunch, mid-afternoon snack, dinner, late, late evening snack if you want. What are your choices? Vegetables, fruits, berries, nuts, seeds, Grass-fed, ambidocromone-free, clean protein. You know what I'm saying now when I say clean protein? Fish. Water. So, one of those foodie movies that makes you want to completely change your lifestyle um, was was one of the ones of the Forks Overnight. Yes. The second version. He talked. To, he said something about like he's completely against all like extra virgin olive oil. And um, I don't. And I don't. I mean. I'm gonna go with no. Olive oil is good. It's olive good. Olive oil is good fat. Yep. I mean that's. And it's an omega nine. He was a big fan Actually, of coconut oil. It's huge. It's awesome. So what's what's the what's the difference? I don't know why he would break that down like that. Coconut oil is a medium chain uh, triglyceride, and it is a also omega nine is uh, saturated fat. Coconut oil is, and that's it's a solid. Mm -hmm. The stuff in my mm -hmm. cupboard is white yep. and solid. Yep. But that's okay. It's a medium chain triglyceride. Uh, omega or. Uh, Olive oil is omega-9 also, and converts down into alpha-linolenic alpha acid, um, but I'm going to go with it. it. And it could be the quantity, because I think as Americans, like we, you know, like, we have a very heavy hand when you do anything with olive oil. I mean, it's not, I, you don't even read to all To cook with it, you think, or what? Oh, sure. I'm okay with that. Okay. It's fat. You guys are too low fat. We're high fat in my house. A lot of times, snack is, you know, avocado. Right. Hey, Dad, I'm hungry after dinner. I need a snack. Slice up an avocado and squeeze some lime on it, and, sure. and a little bit of Celtic sea salt, and, and that's yummy. That's it. We have that a lot. Yep. Another thing. I'm not like this all the time. Don't set yourself up to fail. You don't have to do this 100%. In my house, I talk 90-10 or 95-10. If I eat six meals a day times seven days a week, how many meals is that? 42. 42. 10% <coughs> of 42 is how many? What if you ate 4.2 meals a week of whatever the hell you wanted to eat? Is that fair? I go 95% five. Two meals, Friday night and Saturday night, I eat and drink whatever the hell I want to eat and drink. So when you see me out and I'm drinking Corona and we're at the Mexican place, don't look across at me like, what the hell's Hassel doing? Because <laughs> we're socializing and we're celebrating. And we're celebrating health and we're celebrating wellness. But guess what gets consumed in my house from Sunday morning until Friday at 12.30? Real and amazing. It's not that hard for us. And I talk to my girls the same way. You guys, listen to me. We'll be smarter in school. We'll be better at our sports. We'll be able to focus and concentrate. We'll be able to do all this stuff better. If we roll like this, Sunday through Friday at 1230. Saturday and Sunday, with you're hanging with your friends and doing whatever, eat whatever the hell you want to eat, I don't care. But don't complain to me on Sunday when you don't feel good. <laughs> and they're learning that. And that's, that's fair in our house. We've agreed. Fair. Fair, fair. Got it. Got it. Good. See you. Yep. Do we have this on the website or anything so we can share it with This video will download it. It will be available. You can share it with your friends. Are all the people